How much crap do we use when we crap? And how much crap do we throw away when we're done? I'm breaking down how much waste we waste making waste. Howdy folks, Trace here laying out the numbers for DNews. Venezuela is having a toilet paper shortage right now. That sounds horrible. With no toilet paper, we'd have to like use the phone book or something because you know, really, I don't know what to do with that thing these days. They just keep sending them to my house. But anyway. I started thinking, how much TP does it take to satisfy all of us? Well, the pulp from one eucalyptus tree can make up to 1,000 rolls of the precious paper, with the average American using 23.6 rolls per year. In an average year, all 319 million Americans wipe with 7,528,400,000 rolls or 7,528,400 eucalyptus trees. If you were to plant all of those trees seven feet apart, you'd end up with a hedgerow of eucalyptus that would run uninterrupted from the beaches of Portugal to Singapore and Southeast Asia. Whoa, that's a lot of trees. The bathroom's not the only spot where we make waste. Each American makes enough trash to use two large plastic trash bags per person per week. That amounts to 33 trillion, 176 million garbage bags for every year. If you laid those bags end to end, they stretch for 12 million, 566,667 miles. That is enough to go to the moon and back 52 times. And that is just the bags, not even the trash. Americans generate 4.4 pounds of trash per day per person. Overall, we're generating 250 million tons of garbage a year. Most of that garbage is packaging, with 30% being cardboard and paper. That stuff can be recycled, you know. And another 30% being yard trimmings and food scraps. Why do we throw so much away that can be composted and recycled? This is ridiculous. A lot of it has to do with our obsession with cleanliness. Americans love to kill germs, but germs are just bacteria. Stop calling them germs. Bacteria aren't all bad. Without them, the waste we throw away wouldn't decompose and we would be stuck with it forever. Instead, our toilets empty into septic systems or wastewater plants where bacteria produce enzymes to break it down. Think about it this way. Every plastic bag ever created is still on Earth because bacteria can't break it down. Of course, it also could be under my kitchen sink because, you know, you guys, I don't know what to do with them. I just keep shoving them under there. There's so many. So how can we limit our waste? Well, we can use low flow toilets that have two settings, one for liquid and one for solid waste. We don't need to grab a dozen sheets of toilet paper every time we wipe just to wad it up. The recommended number, three to four sheets. Pull it and fold it. Trash is easy to lessen. Recycle things that can be recycled and compost if you can. There are a bunch of resources on the internet and to be honest, it's actually kind of fun to see your trash disappear on its own. Why don't you teach each other? Share some resources and tips for taking the work out of recycling and tell us in the comments about how you lessen your impact so that we can all do it too. Thanks a lot for tuning in to DNews People. Subscribe and we will get you more DNews very soon. Thanks again.